doll so today I'm going to be doing a different type of video from what I usually do I'm going to be doing a week of thrifting so basically I'm going to be going to probably 10 I'll say 10 thrift stores I don't know how many yet and I'm going to be telling you like for the whole week how it like I'm just gonna be showing you what I pick up and how it goes um let's see if we can do this 10 thrift stores in one week I might go to more and basically I just want to see how it is to just thrift for a whole week and what I find do I find any designer items like I want to find like a Chanel bag a Louis Vuitton bag um I want to find um you know very vintage pretty clothing um vintage clothing I want to find some vintage furniture furniture very unique so I want to see how one week of thrifting in some of the best thrift stores here in Houston would turn out to be and um what would I come across and how is the thrifting experience what do I learn like what would I learn from just a week of thrifting and do I have any tips at the end of this that I can pass to you so grab your coffee grab your tea you're going to need a lot of coffee for this um and yeah let's go thrifting I'm going to try and film as much as I can um it is kind of hard to film and thrift at the same time because I'm like looking for stuff um so I'll see what I can do but I'm ready for it let's go don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up before you watch it um share 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 this video it helps my it helps my channel so much when you share my videos let me know your tips for when you go thrifting in the comment section down below I like to learn other people's ways of doing stuff it helps me so much and yeah let's go thrifting let's go see what we can find let's go so dolls I'm in a thrift store and I saw this I am gonna pick it up it's $14 and I'm gonna try and haggle it down so cute I'm gonna try it I saw like other pieces but like that one this is interesting but and then this this would have been nice but it's $7.99 $8 I mean I could do something with it but this piece is gorgeous so I'm gonna take off the lampshade and I'm gonna give it a whole new look so this is now mine so I love this piece right here it's a huge vintage mirror um, probably like a 90s style um, I don't know if I get it, I have to spray paint it we are at our second Goodwill and I saw this, um, it is $7.99, it's very on trend with the style that is like popular now which is the wooden look, very bohemian but I didn't want to get it. I found this Regency style lamp and I was really contemplating getting it, taking the lampshade off, it's $14.99, I wish it could be cheaper, um, I didn't end up getting it, it's still there right now. If I change my mind, I can go back and get it. But I felt like I can buy it and put feathers on it, like pink feathers. Um, but it was kind of wobbly for the price. And then I saw this one here, um, very, again, Regency style. Um, $5.99. Super vintage. And then this one is like the one that I found in the first thrift store in $7.99, which is cheaper than the one I got. I got mine for $10.99 get ready one of the most popular things in thrift stores are these scary looking porcelain dolls i'm about to show you a clip of how many i found and these ones were not inside the case that's weird why do you seem so scared all i wanted to do is play with you please come and play with me i am so lonely you're not afraid of the dark are you don't be afraid come with me I will show you where I play hide and seek. Do you want to play hide and seek? You hide and I'll find you. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you. I know things no one knows. You're going to die. Help me. I'm begging you. Can you help me? I'm alone and scared. I lost my mommy. Can you help me? I'm coming for you. I'm going to be there, watching you. I will get to you. I will find you. Third, third Goodwill of the week, so I'm going to see what they have. So I saw this lamp and I didn't get it. The minute I turned around, someone got it. It's such a unique, like, 
80 style lamb and it is 24.99 i think it's worth the price it has that little um, clear table part for, on it never seen a lamp like that before in the stores it's different i like regret not getting it because i would have changed the shade it's just such a yeah <laughs> and then this one i noticed this is like a running theme they always seem to have these type of gold and like clear lamps and then I saw this green one. Someone could do something with this. It's just an interesting look. And then I saw these chairs. I feel like this will be a good flip, except it has a stain on it. I get really disgusted when I see slate stains because you never know. You never know if someone was killed on that. You just don't know. You just don't know what you're getting in a thrift shop. I'm telling you. And they've got this big chair sofa chair and then they've got this level one that is really new that's actually really new oh i can see a stain on it no nope. change of mind um on this side we have these really sturdy breakfast tables i love the blue but i would definitely make it like a light blue just looks really interesting very 90s and then saw a lot of glass pieces like this one you definitely have to clean this out, but that is a really huge piece. We're at our fourth Goodwill of the week, so let's see what this one has. The other one, the third one, I don't really like it, so this one's just down the street, so we'll see if this is any better. I'll see you dolls inside. Dolls, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous old Hollywood glam style mauve pink tuft couch. Oh my god. I cried. It was sold out. And can you believe it? For $124, they told me, they had three pieces. So all three of them for $124. I cried. In real life, it's a really gorgeous pink. Like, the camera doesn't do it justice. I really cried. For three pieces, you can never get three-piece furniture. So it had other smaller pieces. As you can see, it's sold. I was so mad at this. I cried. I really cried. Anyway... So I noticed, again, this is such a style in all these um, thrift stores, this gold and um, glass style lamps. I like the one I got for much better than all of these ones. And then look at these golds over here. They've got this tall gold and white lamp. Dolls, I can't get over that my, my chair was sold. Like, that should have been my chair. That fits my whole personality. Uh, and then look at this. It's just not... I don't like it. It's just not it. I'm just still upset that the chair's gone and they rolled it out by this point, you know? So I love this table. I don't know why. It's a dining table. It has potential. It has a lot of potential in it. I just feel like it does. The chair is just next to it. Oh my God, you know that this is, you didn't have a good book if it ends up in a thrift store. I found the Kardashian book. <laughs> Oh, wow. So I ended up getting this, um, not this one, but this is one of the vintage belts I found. But I ended up getting this belt here. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love how this is so solid. It's by Express and it's an, a 90s, 80s, like an 80s belt. And I just, you know, I wish it was black, but we can deal with the white. I like the white and gold anyway. Um, I just had to get it. I don't even know when and how I'm going to use it, but I had to just get it. It was $2.00. I just love it. They don't make stuff this heavy anymore and they don't make hardware on belts with actual real metal. It's always like gold plated, painted over plastic. My oh, fifth um, Goodwill. I've been here earlier this week. I just decided to come back because this one's really close to my house. Um, and I want to see what they have, especially as it's about to be closing time. You just never know. They can roll something out. So I'll see you dolls inside. Let's go. So I saw these side tables and I felt I could maybe turn it into a mirrored side table and do like a thrift flip. But I just couldn't be bothered to put it in my car because my car at this point was actually really full. So, but that is my idea for this. If it's still there when I come back, that's what I would do with this piece. I think that would be a good thrift flip. And then I saw this huge plant and I just thought, for something you find in a thrift store, this is actually really good quality and it's $34.99. I wish it can be cheaper. Goodwill is actually really expensive. It's ridiculous for stuff they get for free, donated. 
at my sixth location. It's night time, so I'm going to check out what they have. I'll see you dolls inside. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. I already see something I saw in the other one. They always have the same stuffed toys, I've noticed that. So, yeah, and it looks empty, so it's going to be good. I love when it's empty. I just don't like being around too many people, especially around this time with C19. So, let's see you dolls inside. So I saw these chairs and I thought they would make good bar cart, like not bar carts, bar chairs, bar stools. And um, it would be like if I take it down and add different things like fur, it could be a good thrift flip. Um, why do they have a cat carrier? That just makes me really uneasy. Anyway, I saw these pink beds. I thought, you know, this is interesting. The colour, you know, I love pink. So the whole bed set, the whole bed set. I just don't want someone's bed. That's how I feel about bed and thrift store. Um, on this side we have, oh, this will be a nice thrift flip and it's $6.99, which is really cheap for furniture. Can definitely make that something different, change the knobs and everything. On this side, there's another, like there's a table, that's another good thrift flip. Like you can definitely turn that out into something else. And it's only $4.99, which is really cheap. It's very sturdy as well. And they've got some more pieces. This is such a vintage table, console table. This is so vintage. It's got like gold around the edge. And it's like a yellow. They have so much furniture in this location. I'll give them that. Not all locations like have a lot of furniture. Of course, I am going to find a pink lamp. And it's gold. But the gold is like faded. It's like a nice muff pink. Definitely that lamp has to go if I was ever to get that. But I noticed it was kind of broken and off centre. Look, definitely not getting that. First store called Value Village. Here it is. And they are known to have really good stuff. So I'm going to check out what they have. Um, and see what they have. Hopefully, I came at the wrong time. Really meant to come at morning. Because it's when they're getting new stuff. But you never know. I find a lot of stuff at random times. You just never know when they put a new bin. So I'm just going to come and see what they have. So this is a value village. Let's go and see. So I found this and I just thought, it's really different. It's huge and it's like stone. Um, now look at this. My mum loved this. It's very 70s and it's very in trend for right now. It's like made from basket. Um, it's huge as well. Is very on trend with the style that's you know popular right now. Very bohemian. Um, definitely a piece that I would get, but I just didn't want to buy it. I think it was like thirteen dollars. It's cheap. Now they have so much glass pieces here. I thought this was really unique. Um, I just had to show you they have so much different little glass pieces. I guess you have to come at like the right time to find really unique looking ones. Um, much cheaper by the way this store is compared to Goodwill. Now, what I didn't like was this. This is like hosiery and, you know, tights and, you know, underwear, socks. I just didn't like it. It made me uneasy. Um, <laughs> I love how they have the jeans all stacked. Oh, no, the socks again. The jeans all stacked next to each other. The socks are just nasty. And then look, the khaki um, trousers are all stacked so perfectly next to each other. And then on the other side, we have jeans. Again, so perfectly next to each other. Good will need to get on that level. Um, calling you out Goodwill and they even do it with their shoes as well you're about to see this is so 90s look at this this was obviously for someone's wedding you can tell but this is such a good find I remember when these like type of heels were popular see I told you it says I do so oh my god it's like ripped at the heel so they have so many like actually quality heels like this one is like brand new it's like a velvet pink platform heel, chunky as well. Um, and then look, see the coordination, all your nude heels on that side, all your black shoes on that side. I love their coordination. It's just on point. Now, coach bag. That's the only designer bag I found, and I don't like coach, and there's a guest one there. But I heard this store has a lot of Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel. Every now and then you would find it. If you have to go at the right time. I came towards the evening, so that's not good. See, more coach. I just don't like coach. I hate coach. I'm sorry. It's just such a brand that I don't really care for. Um, 
I thought this was like a brand. You just have to look. You'll find it if you're really looking deep in this store. But they do have like top-notch designer pieces that they get all the time. You just have to come early, I guess. But I just never had the patience to come early. I just like this bag. I don't know why. Again, it's really colour coordinated, which I like and very tidy. You just have to dig through to find what you're looking for. Look at this one. And if you're not looking for a designer, they do have some good bags. Look at the spoon. Well, not spoon, sorry. <laughs> the plates. And they've got this floral plate here. They've got a good plate selection. Oh my God, I love this like hexagon shape glass plates. I don't know why I did not get this. This is actually a still and it's 40 cents. Wow, I love that. And then look at these. They're like gold and white. <gasps> On that note, we'll leave. Now Salvation Army um, to see what they have. So I'll see you dolls inside. I'm not expecting much, but you know, let's see. They literally had nothing of interest. So I was out so fast and they're really expensive. $50 just for that chair when you can get that cheaper somewhere else. No, I was really done. It was really old and drab stuff that this location had. I was not interested. No. To this first stop before, never. Um, but I've heard so much about it and I heard it's really good. I'm coming late in the day, um, it's, you know, so we'll see how it is. But let's go and see how Family Thrift is. I've heard so much good stuff. I can see Christmas trees already. So I'll show you what we find inside. It's very late in the day, it's like 5 p.m. So I doubt it's gonna be anything good. But you never know, fingers crossed. My eagle I found here already, a Prada bag. Now I don't know how real it, real it is, but I'm definitely not getting it because it just looks nasty. Um, they have like a whole wall of bags, um, but obviously I told you I came at a really bad time, so anything that is really real will probably be gone by now. That's if people can recognize real stuff too. So I'm gonna just keep looking. I don't know if it's worth it, but I just want to show this trunk. Look at that, like shelves of just randomness. And as I told you, a lot of Christmas trees over there. I should have come at a better time because it's obviously a worse day to come too. Today's a Saturday. Look at this. So many Christmas trees in here. Like right here. Look at this weird one over here with a snowman on it. Look. So they've got like glass. These look nice. They're like iridescent. Random cups. Oh, this glass is actually really pretty. Look at this. I like this. This store has a lot to offer. It's just a lot of people. And there's like a lot of, you know, you can hear it. It's just all the clanking of the hangers was just too much. I was ready to go. And the line is so long. That's what I don't like about Family Thrift. At another Goodwill. Let's see how today is going to go. Better be good. This is like our seventh Goodwill, right? I'm not sure anymore. I've lost count. I could have sworn I've seen this at a different Goodwill before. <gasps> Look at this purple lamp. Oh, I love that purple. Okay, so judging by all we were, all we've we been going, this is obviously a popular look, maybe in the 90s or something, because I see it in almost, oh my God, look at these, what a find. Look at these floral lamps. And they are, I don't even know the price. Oh, I love the shape of this one. I love that shape. I love the squared look. And it's $9. It's a huge lampshade it has as well. I love the pink a lot. Okay, behind we have like a dresser. We have some chairs. I'm looking for like, obviously something unique. Don't like the table at all. 
Um, Fingers crossed we find something, dolls. Fingers crossed. I hate when people sit on the furniture. Look at this. Floral. Very vintage. I kind of like it. You don't see stuff like this anymore. This basket. and I absolutely like this basket. Am I going to get it? Probably not. But it is... Focus. It is... Let's see. Camera is not focusing. I don't know why. $5.99 It's a really nice basket I like it Look what I found So creepy They are so creepy Tell me why it's sitting like that too Oh my goodness Every home, every um, Every store has one of these But look at how this one's sitting inside here So creepy At my location It's called Valley Village I did not know it's not open yet so I'm just pissed off because I'm here at 11 and it opens in an hour's time which is 12 which is good to be early but it's annoying because what am I gonna do like there's nothing to do in this area <sighs> I was like wondering why there's no cars here so they open at 12 and I'm here at 11 so I don't even know what day it is today's actually Sunday um, and so far I've done a whole week of thrifting. I'm so sad. Maybe we can take a peek and see what's in the window. But um, to see whether it's worth wasting. Sometimes you know you can see stuff from outside. Um, and this is a really good thrift store. I'm just trying to take a peek. Oh, not, I can't see. There's even a wedding dress. Oh my God. Her dress is falling off. <sighs> so sad okay so I don't know whether to wait or go to the other thrift store that I had in mind um, I might just go there because from the window I'm not seeing anything dramatic and I've been here before and I wasn't really that impressed so I don't know whether to wait it or go to the one I have intentions of going to we'll see which else thrift store this is but no like it's called family thrift centre um, I heard these are really good. I'm in an area that's a bit strange and I want to hurry up and get out. So we're going to run here, run through here quickly. Um, I couldn't be able to wait for the other one. I just want to see this one and hurry up and get out of this area. So as I said with Family First, it's a really big store and it does have a lot of designer items. I'm just not finding any. Um, and it's just so huge. So you have to come with someone if you really want to find and score something. They've got lots of pieces lots of pieces so you definitely have to come with someone and it's really like messy i don't like thrift stores that are messy even though you can't avoid that they've got just so much don't even know where to focus my eyes on oh my god and the most random things too. They just accept anything. Just dump it. There's an actual weed inside here. I'm disturbed. I'm really disturbed. Okay, I think it's time to go. Could this be a Chanel bag? No, it's not. No. I left there really, 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 really not impressed. Um, there was nothing. I left so fast. Now I think I'm going to go back to the other one because that's the reason why I drive all the way down to this area. <sighs> I'm tired dolls, I really am. At good old Goodwill, I couldn't wait for that other location to open. So I'm gonna come here and I think it'll be a wrap for today, Sunday, because I've now done three stores, one that didn't open, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm tired and I think I'll be done for Sunday. So we're at Goodwill. Out of all of them, this was probably the worst Goodwill I've ever seen in my life. Out of all of them, it just was not it. Nothing good here and it was so small. Um, I was ready to get out of it. I just literally spent two minutes and I was out. I dipped so fast. They have nothing here. I don't even know why this is a, even a Goodwill. It just, it's just not it at all. And it's in a really upscale area of Houston, but it just doesn't have anything that you would want. I was really scanning and searching and searching, trying to find myself something good. And mm -mm. even in their home de decor area nothing really worth showing 
It's like, do they even get any donations at all? I mean, there's obviously stuff here, but it's different from the other Goodwills. It's really dry, is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know. Just, I'm not impressed. Unimpressed. So I left quite disappointed. Um, absolutely nothing. It does look, that first store that I went to, this one, the Goodwill I just went to, it does look very different. It doesn't look like a Goodwill. It's really tight inside. It's a bit different. So I wasn't expecting that, but I saw nothing. A disappointing Sunday. Oh well, have to go. I put GPS for, I Googled Family Thrift. And this is why you have to Google the correct thing. So I was thinking I was going to come across a family thrift store, um, which I'm about to take you to. And this is what came up on my GPS. This is a nightmare. I'm looking, where is the family thrift? So I'm about to open the window so you can see. People drive crazy in this area, so I'm being really careful. Um, look, look, this is not it. This is definitely not it. Can you look? Oh my God, this is not it. And I'm not going inside. So... <laughs> Definitely when you GPS stuff, actually look at what you're typing in because that's not it at all. Yeah, this is what I say, reading is fun fundamental. Look, family outlet, family, no, thrift family outlet. There's a huge difference on the one we just went to. So I'll see you inside. Hopefully I'm arriving kind of late in the day, but you never know. It doesn't matter if you arrive on time with these type of places. They can just roll out a bin at any time. Or the stuff that I have, the stuff that I want, nobody has touched so i'll see you dolls inside let's go and see what they have peace and i instantly like it i don't know how much it is but i'm gonna just take it because it looks like a nice little piece they've got ralph lauren i like this it's like a dress so really rare to find ralph lauren like that um what else Oh my god, this is so 2001. Um, hard to film in here because people just are in the way. Like, well, I just found really 80s pieces, very 80s. This is very 80s. That's someone's graduation clothes. This is really 80s. Um, this is extremely 80s, these leggings, look at this. What I'm getting from this location, I could barely film in here because as you can see, it's really messy and busy. So probably at the next location, but this is what I'm leaving. And it's $2 because they say on Thursdays, everything is $2. I don't know if you can see, but um, I'm probably gonna get this on my mum, not me, because she loves it. It's so pretty. So we're at another family thrift and I'm gonna see what I can get. If I know if they don't have furniture, so I'm focused on looking at really vintage, gorgeous clothes, so, and rare stuff, so I'll see dolls inside. And this is a first day, everything is $2 here. This actually looks like a designer bag. It's really sturdy, I'm trying to see who it's by. Liz Claiborne, I notice they have a lot of Liz Claiborne bags. This looks ugly, I don't even like it. Um, and they have a lot of coach bags. Oh my god, there's toys on the floor. There's music in here, so I have to be careful. Um, no. What's well, a Chanel bag? Okay, dolls, I'm gonna have to talk to you in a bit because the music's actually really loud in here. Um, and I don't want to get monetized. Go back inside there, but I can't see what they have. There's a lot of stuff back there. Anyway, I'm gonna try and as much as I can to talk. No, nothing cute. See all this Claiborne bags. I'm not really interested in this Claiborne stuff. Um. Okay, I can't talk dolls. <laughs> Find anything good in there. The line is too long, no hand sanitizer, 
not coming back to this location again never <laughs> well I'm so tired of saying that <laughs> I don't even know what number this is but this is one that we've been to already and um, a few days ago I just decided to come back because it's been a few days and see if they have anything I am so exhausted and I feel like I'm not gonna find anything but let me try and at least be positive and we'll see what we have inside I'm tired of saying that word what they still have I can't believe no one's bought it I'm just gonna wait till they drop the price wow like new furniture I don't know if we saw this last week but I don't remember seeing it they've got a few chairs I'm trying not to talk too much because the music is loud in here and um, right now there's an advert going on so I can talk but... Look at this couch Ew, it's disgusting but there's like a blue one I want to show you this one I like the shade and it is only $29 that's actually really cheap it's got a stain on it so I'm not interested it's like an icy blue I like it and it's random cup, um, table so yeah don't like any of the stuff today you know Elise but Elise is a popular brand in England so this is bringing me back memories from the 90s this is such a nostalgia I don't know if it was a brand in America but it was definitely a brand that we used to wear back in the day in England so this is so nostalgic for me for the 90s I can't believe they have a lease here look at this this is so creepy and this one is even worse because it's barefoot it's so scary the eyelashes is goals there oh my god and I just like the shape of it it's very vintage looking and it's 2 dollars and it's really sturdy the inside of it is red I just like it and it's 2 dollars it just looks really I don't know how to describe it but it looks like you can wear some boots with this <laughs> I just like it it's cute and I think it's so cute I can use it for photo shoot for one of my collections and it's $3.99 and I like the fact it's nude so I could spray paint it pink though but I think I'll leave it nude it just makes it look so much nicer and it's $3.89 I want to show you this couch as well look at it the price is not there but it's a nice couch look it's huge I got the telephone now let me tell you something about Goodwill I asked her to put like a double bag because this is a thin bag and can easily break and she tells me that they're not allowed to give double bags I don't understand Goodwill at all can someone if you know tell me in the comment section down below why they can't give double bags because if you're buying glass and it can you know it could break I just don't understand but anyway I'll see you at our next location yay I'm tired. We're at a Goodwill that I came to a few days ago. It's the one that I saw that gorgeous pink chair that I didn't get because it was sold out. I'm going to see what they have inside here. They're about to close soon, so we're just going to run through and see. I'll see you inside. I am worn out. I love this, and I'm considering getting it. I don't know. I just don't like how dirty the sides are. But it is $24.99, so I have to think about it. I just like florals, you know? And on this side we have a lamp, kind of similar to the one that I saw in the other one. But I like this lamp better. Look at the top. Fine as well, so it's cheaper than the other one. Look, the other one's 14 and this one's kind of wobbly there. And these, this will be good to give it like a, you know, like flip it and it's 12 99 I just don't have space in my car. Well I do, I can fit in, but that's one of them. And then they have one. Oh, they've got a fireplace and I need a fireplace. Look at this. So they've got two. No, but for the fireplace. <gasps> I'm actually doing a DIY project with a fireplace. So I might buy this. Yeah. I think I'm getting this. I just, yeah. So I saw this piece and I had to have it. It's so vintage and so me. And, um, the craftsmanship is so on point, had to get it.
This reminded me of the 80s, obviously, with the mum jeans and going skiing. I, d I don't know, I just like the colours. So 80s and so needs to come back in style as well. This is how the back of it looks like, just if you're wondering. This piece was interesting, I just had to show it, maybe because it's pink and it has a tie waist, I don't know. top the vintage top i'm now off to my final destination i just found this lamp interesting enough to show you so i like this for a man i think this is such a quality eddie bauer piece um and i just saw it in the men's section it's got old man buttons I was shocked they had these gorgeous ASOS heels and they're only $5.99 which is really cheap well made and you can tell it's barely been worn so I just had to show you that great craftsmanship I love the square chunky heel and it's by ASOS so you know that's a you know brand name and there's some guest shoes next to it I don't care I saw these pink hot pink chunky heels I had to show you this too and it is about probably about the same price I think it is like $20 which is kind of expensive for Goodwill actually no it's $6.99 see I was gonna have I was gonna flip now I saw this H&M bag with the gold um hardware and it's like a soft pink I thought it's so girly and so pretty and it's from H&M as I just said and the only thing reason I didn't like it is because I saw a bit of hair in it it could be pubic, pubic hair so I don't want to get it when I see hair hair just makes me really itchy so it made me automatically just stop touching the bag and I was done but the hardware is really good it's a solid bag and it's only six ninety nine, and it's got a stain too as you can see I don't know what that is there's certain things put me off and that would be it now, I found a Kate Spade bag, not that I'm interested. It's it's not like her best bags. It's $24.99. The nerve of, of Goodwill to sell that for $24.99. Like, seriously, stop. Okay, so look at this big plant. I thought this was such a statement piece for a living room. Obviously, that bottom part has to be filled in, but this is $29. Goodwill needs to stop again. 20 okay, what, $20, $30 when you can get a brand new one almost near that price? I don't know. It's just kind of ridiculous to me how good will upcharge people. We're at the last Goodwill of this whole trip. Let's see how it's going to be. I doubt I'm going to find anything, but you never know. So when I say that, I always find something. But I'm worn out. I just want to get this done with and see. So I found this Barbie pink $5.99 um, cupcake maker. I just wanted to show it. It's just so pretty to me because obviously because it's pink. Obviously I find everything pink and pretty, really pretty. <laughs> that makes sense. I saw this vintage jumper and I love vintage sequins jumpers and um, they're very rare to find these days and I think they're perfect for Christmas time. This time of the year I just love them. I found this feeler shoe and it reminds me of, oh, the bottom is disgusting, it's $12 and it reminds me of the 90s because that's what we were wearing back in the 90s. I saw these chunky Steve Madden open-toed boots, booties, and it's perfect for this time of the year. I think it's really nice. I like it. This reminds me of that lady that says Francine, who has that funny voice. I forgot the name of the show she's on, but if you know, you know. And it also reminds me of Hilary Banks on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Some more Kate Spade items. Um, this one is um, twenty dollars, and it's by Kate Spade. I'm not buying it because it's not my style, but I just want to show you. There's a lot of Kate Spade in the thrift stores lately. And again, if a thrift store, if Goodwill didn't have enough of these, there you go. The weird group or gang of porcelain dolls. Look at that one. She is all. And on that note, I'm done. This is my unofficial 20th store. Um, I went last minute and it is, I found this Barbie house for $24.99. I was amazed. I've always wanted a Barbie house when I was younger and I've seen one here. But let me show you something. 
<gasps> it's like the children that played with this tried to get Barbie to do a poo and it didn't it didn't come out right. That is disgusting. <laughs> but it is a really big um Barbie house and it even has a wardrobe, like a walk-in closet. I just wouldn't get it because I don't know if that could be real poo. You don't know children. Dolls, so this is apparently an authentic Chanel bag I found in Goodwill and they're trying to sell it for $40, $50. This is one of the um, finds and I it found, is a very it wealthy is area, $2. so I'm wondering if um, it's a real bag, do I take the gamble gorgeous. and like buy it. it? It doesn't have a name, well this is the parts brand, of it like that a vintage really weird, um, real, and cardigan parts of it that, look fake. that I got from my mum, it has pockets know. in it, it's like what never worn, think? Comment down below. and it's only $2, so this is one of the finds that I have, and I love it, just had to show you, if this you look perfect. inside, and it's perfect you can see so that here's the back of they it. cut something out, it's very which big could be and the cozy authentic authentication code, and so this could be a bag from the 80s before one. they started this is my putting second the item. codes inside. That's what I'm and thinking. And this is an actual vintage piece by a designer called David Rose. I went on Instagram and, not Instagram, I went on Etsy. I googled David Rose and it's a very luxurious brand back in the day. Um, it's an 80s designer and this is, I just love this. I love the 80s shoulders with the pads. They don't make quality clothes like this anymore. And then it's even got like this edge, you know, like gold i love how it the peplum like comes out at the edge i love the buttons i love everything about this look at the buttons um that's, and I, I just love everything about this it's lined inside very detailed the edges look at the edges of it this will be gorgeous with like a high-waisted purple um trousers um it did come with a skirt but i just got the coat because i like the coat on its own the skirt not so much i don't really care for it. it's a velvet skirt that matches it um so you can wear this with, i feel like i'll do high-waisted disco pants or something with this it's just beautiful and it look at the original price and this was never worn the original price is 176 dollars as you can see it's old it was never worn they literally didn't even rip the tag out the tag is still stuck to it so that was a really good find and it's expensive so you know i can't wait to wear it and i i looked at on etsy they have like a similar piece like this on etsy if you go on etsy and just type in david rose you'll see so many pieces of david rose and he has many i'm thinking it's, it's obviously a man his many vintage pieces so i love it and i got this one for six dollars thing I got was this lamp and many of you remember when I first saw this this was like at the beginning of this trip and I just love the gold I love everything about it like the clear and the gold what I'm gonna do is completely take off the shade and I'm gonna put like maybe feathers or something on it but I absolutely love this, everything about this lamp and I can't wait to use it it's just perfect and I got it for how much did I get for so it was $14 in Goodwill and I haggled them and I got it for 10 which I think is a good deal because it's a very quality sturdy lamp barely you never really used it's just collected a lot of dust so I'm gonna clean that with alcohol and change the lamp and probably change it and make it feathers so I love this because it's very Regency and you know I love it I had to get this vintage phone it's only $3.99 and I got it from Goodwill and I think they sold it to me for three dollars I believe and the cord is missing right here look I think the person broke the cord off I don't know maybe the cord is still in the shop I don't know but it's missing but regardless it's a um, nude rotary phone they don't make things like this anymore I would have wanted a pink one but I love the nude one because I feel I can use it in a photo shoot and have like my coffee next to it put it on a Louis Vuitton book that's brown some brown books and I can just do something fun with this because it's just a fun piece and it's only 3 dollars so 
I just think it was a good find and it's nude. Like, you'd never see this. This is not a popular colour. It's very rare. And this on Etsy goes from $60 to $200, which is really expensive. So if I wanted to resell this, I can because it's that rare and people are willing to pay that much because it makes a really good prop. So I love it. It's such a good find. One of the things that I got was this vintage belt and i love it it's only two dollars i like because they don't make belts this thick anymore the hardware is not like this on the belt anymore this belt is just so good and it's from express so it's a piece from the 80s you can tell this is not like this is just you can see it's been used but it's a very quality piece they don't as i said they don't make pieces like this anymore this is solid so i just had to show you it i got it for two dollars from goodwill um and i don't even know what i'm going to use it for but it's one of those pieces it's just too good to let go and they don't as i said they don't make pieces like hardware metal like this they don't make it enclosed anymore it's always flimsy and plastic that they painted gold but they don't make metal you can see this is like really heavy and good quality metal they don't do this anymore so such a statement piece had to get it and i'm happy with it i'm going to show you how my fake chanel bag looks more real than the presumed real chanel bag that i showed you at goodwill so the reason why i didn't get the bag by the way i did not get the bag uh, the reason why i didn't get the bag is because there were some things missing and there's some things that are on the um even that are on mine that are not even on the one that I believe is real like I believed is real I'm really really I'm 75% believing it's real so number one on my bag so this is so take this tip to identify Chanel bag if you want like if you're in my position you come across something like that in a thrift store look at everything I'm about to show you on mine because mine is a fake bag so they said the diamonds on a Chanel bag like line up so this part is meant to line up to this um which mine looks more lined up than the one i showed you the one i showed you in the first store is not lined up at all um they said this is meant to overlap on the right side this is meant to be it looks more real basically um it's meant to look like this obviously not like this <laughs> um i wasn't really fussed about this but the issue is uh, okay another thing too before we open it so Mine has this, and I know it's a lot of authentic Chanel bags do stamp their logo Chanel a lot. Um, I don't know what it says here. I can't really see it. But it says something here that I can't see. Um, now, I've had mine for two years, and as you can see, it's not faded. And a lady in the shop says that mine even looks more leather and feels more like leather than the one that we saw in the shop, and it just feels heavier. Um, Chanel bags are meant to be the stitches are meant to be 11 stitches i don't think mine is 11 stitches <laughs> i didn't count it now in the inside so i don't know forget the receipts i know my bag is a mess but look i didn't see this on the bag i didn't see all of this this c and this c is meant to look like that or sometimes it's meant to be puffy and um, because of the way they stitch it um see so it did have something on here that i saw um, my bag came with an authentication card, a fake one, obviously. This, the bag in the shop didn't, but then it wouldn't really because if someone has used it, they'll take the card out. But it had no serial number inside. There's meant to be a serial number on the left-hand side. Now, when you open it, do you see this? The bag in the shop did not have this. And even down to the, even down to the screws, they're meant to look a certain way as well. And you can Google that if you're trying to authenticate. But mine had the Chanel and the Paris. The one in the shop did not even have that. It was just plain. All of this was just plain. Um, my stitching is perfect all the way around. See, I didn't even notice mine had this C. The other one didn't have this C. But um, it doesn't matter. They don't always have to have this chain. So my one is looking more real than the than the one that is presumably real. This is not opening. Um, I didn't even notice it had this C here, but it, you know you can tell also from things like this. But this C looks so fake. So certain things about that one in the shop just didn't add up. That that's why I didn't get it. Now if you turn it round, my diamonds slightly. Ma they said that the diamonds are also meant to match up with this, and you know they're meant to match up and mine matches up a little bit more than the one in the shop so and i've had this for two years it hasn't faded the you see the gold hardware and i use this every single day the gold hardware stayed the same i'm convinced mine is more real 
<laughs> even though I know it's not real but here's the thing a lot of the ones that you buy from China are actually real because they're using some of the real material from the factory so I'm thinking this because the stitching is perfect I'm thinking they use the real materials possibly because look you can't see any discoloration and I've had this bag for two years on top same thing even on the straps they still look gold so I don't know I really don't know mine could be just a real bag and we just don't know but anyway I'm done with this video dolls I was like really happy to take you along and um, this was after I filmed the whole thrifting experience I decided to go to the thrift store again so I'm just happy to just show you what you know what happened with the whole Chanel fiasco but yeah so we did it we probably visited more than 10 obviously we did do more than 10 thrift stores um so basically my idea about thrifting is go early number one because I feel like they put out their best stuff um in the morning and they put out whatever they have there in the morning and anything behind might be just like new stuff coming in but they get their delivery probably the day before and then put out whatever so obviously go in the morning and when you go my tip for thrifting especially if you're looking for designer stuff because everyone knows how Louis Vuitton bag looks like so go with two people or one or no two sorry go with two people more than two people um and go as a group because Everyone knows how Louis Vuitton bag looks like. Everyone knows how Chanel bag looks like. The Louis Vuitton bag is probably the most recognized bag in the world. So um, the print. So if you're looking for the bags or the jewelry or stuff like that, you need more than one eye. Like you need more than two eyes. You need like four eyes, five eyes, like four eyes, six eyes, you know, times two by how many other eyes you need. You just need a lot of eyes. So basically as soon as you both go in or a group of you go in, one of you can grab it. But then how you split it is the next thing. So if you go with people you can trust that are not going to keep it for themselves, basically, like your mom and, you know, people who believe in your mission. Um, that's my tip number one. My tip number two is... Um, sanitize bring your own sanitizer because a lot of these thrift stores are being stingy with sanitizer which makes no sense we're touching you stuff so regardless of what's going on in the world right now it's just nasty <laughs> to touch you stuff and not be able to like clean your hands so go with your own hand sanitizer sadly because most of them are really stingy and are hiding their sanitizer um third tip is when you go in look for like prints things that stand out colors don't just like go through the shelves one by one, like actually look for things that stand out. That's how I find good stuff. I just like, my eyes are scanning, but I don't like go touching every single thing. That's not how to shop in a fresh tip is if you find something you think might be like a big designer brand, just get it, put it in your trolley and buy it because it's probably cheap anyway. And verify later, or if you can just verify it on your phone right there, just search the name into Etsy or search the name into Google and you'll find out that that thing is really worth a lot of money. Like the phone I got, that nude phone that I bought, guess how much it was? That phone was almost $200 online from 60 to $200. So if I want to resell it, I can. Even though like the cord is broken, people just want, like I'm using it, I'm going to keep it, I'm not reselling it. But people use things for decoration and just for just for the fact that you can't buy that stuff anymore why am I getting hair in my face <laughs> so um just buy it if you can just buy it or google it then and there and google the name if you can find the name or google search terms like like for instance type in something like if you're looking for that phone I had type in nude vintage phone and then you'll see like the exact item might pop up on Etsy and you'll see how much other people are selling that rare item for um I enjoyed it I have fun if you want me to do a part two of this maybe searching 20 thrift stores I think I will pass out if I do 20 thrift stores in a week but if you want me to do another challenge like this I would love to do it I had fun I like the pieces I got um I'll show you the pieces at the end um but yeah Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below. Thank you so much and I'll see you dolls in my next video. Bye. Love you dolls.